work with squares and square roots. Squaring a number means you're multiplying a number by itself. It means you have the power with an exponent of 2. So 5 squared would be 5 times 5, which equals 25. Negative 8 quantity squared would be negative 8 times negative 8. We learned that a negative times a negative is a positive, so it would be a positive 64. This question looks like our last one, however, there's no parentheses. So what this means is we're doing 8 squared, but then on front of it we're going to stick a little negative sign. So this means negative 8 times 8, which would mean that this is 64 with a negative out front. And then 2 thirds squared would be 2 thirds times 2 thirds. Multiply our numerators, multiply our denominators, and we get 4 ninths. Finding the square root of a number means finding a number that when multiplied times itself equals the given number. So the square root of 81 means we need to find a number that when you multiply it by itself gives you 81. And the answer to that is 9. The square root of 121 means what number times itself equals 121? The answer to that is 11. Now a lot of times the number under the square root is not a perfect square. 81 and 121 are examples of perfect squares because when you square root it you get a nice whole number. If we start from the beginning our perfect squares would be 1 squared which is 1 2 squared, which is 4, 3 squared, which is 9, 4 squared, which is 16, 5 squared, which is 25, and so on. But most of the time, like I said, these numbers are not perfect squares. So we can leave these answers in radical form. So what we're going to do is see if we can find a perfect square that goes into our numbers. Well, I know for 32 that that equals 4 times 8. So we can say that root 32 is really root 4 times root 8. But really root 8 could be broken up more. So that would be root 4 and then root 8 would be root 4 times root 2. And now we have the square root of 4. That's 2. Again the square root of 4 is 2. And then we can't really do anything with that root 2, so we leave it the same. So our final answer would be 4, because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 root 2. Root 80. Let's see. Well, root 80 would be root 4 times root 20. But root 20 would be root 4 times root 5. So this would be 2. This would be 2, leave that as root 5, and our answer is 4 root 5.